So in this class, I'm going to do a quick demo of how the prefix and the suffix operators work. Prefix plus plus and suffix plus plus operators. So here I have an example program where we use the prefix plus plus and the postfix plus plus. Okay. They both increment the value of a variable of an integer by one. Okay. There is no difference between the two except in the context of an assignment statement. Okay. So in this example, I have k initialized to five. Okay. So when I do a plus plus k, it is equivalent to these two statements. First you increment k and then you assign the new value of k to this i. So by the end of this iteration, uh, the value of k will be 6 and the value of i will be 6 as well because the new value of k, k will become 6 first and then it gets assigned to i. Okay. Okay. In this example k k, I am doing the postfix plus plus k will first be assigned to i or i i and then the k k will get incremented by 1. So, initial value of k k is 5, it gets assigned to i i. So, i i will become 5 and then k k is incremented by 1 and then k k will become 6. So, value of k k will be 6 here, and the value of i i will be 5. Okay, one more thing here is when you do it in the loop, right? Initially n is 0, so I am going up to 9 because n is less than 10, right? This is like a while loop. I will explain the while loop when we go to the control structures. So, what I am doing is I am printing the value of <coughs> printing the value of this expression, okay, and the value of this expression is still n not n plus 1. It will get incremented after it prints it out. So, whether it is prefix or postfix, oh okay, <coughs> the value of n plus plus is n not n plus 1. Similarly, the value of plus plus m is m plus 1 and not m. So, in this case, in this loop, right, it will print from 0 to 9. Whereas, in this case, it will print from 1 to 10. Every expression has a value. Okay? So, the value of plus plus m is m plus 1 and not m. So, let us run this program. I just made a few small changes. Well, n n less than ten. The first value of n is zero, right? Zero is less than ten, and then I'm doing zero plus plus. The value of zero plus plus is zero, and then it gets incremented. Of course, n gets incre increment incremented. Okay, so the system out will print zero, and then increment n. The current value of n, so it will become one that 1 is still less than 10, again it will come into this and it is doing 1 plus plus. The value of 1 plus plus is 1 only and then that n comes from 1 to 2, 2 is still less than 10. So, it will keep going up to n becomes 10. So, let us run this program. First, you will see that k is 6 and i is 6, and then the next one k k is 6 and i i is 5, and then you go you print from 0 to 9, and you are using the prefix plus plus, 
and when you use a postfix plus plus it becomes goes from 1 to 10. Do you want me to repeat any of this stuff here or is this all clear to you? So this is pretty easy right? See I told you plus plus k is equivalent to two statements k equal to k plus 1 followed by i equal to k. Similarly, when you say int i i equal to k plus plus k k plus plus it is equivalent to two statements. First statement is assign k k to I, the current value of k k to i i followed by incrementing the value of k k by 1. So, if k k is 5 i i will become 5 and then k k will become 6 and when you print it out k k will be 6 and i i will be 5. And another important thing to note is there is another difference when you when you are using an n plus plus or plus plus n in the context of a print ln statement. So the value of the expression okay, of n plus plus is n. So if you do 3 plus plus the value is still 3, but at the end of it it becomes 4. Okay. So when you when you when you see, see the thing is, if you just print it out here, right? It will be n, okay. But the same thing if I print it out again after this statement, right? Just n without n plus plus. Here, the value is n. I said, right? So initially it will be zero. It gets incremented to one, and here it will print one. Okay. And the same thing if I do it over here the value of here it will print the same value because the value of plus plus m is m plus 1 and the next line so if it is initially 0 this, this will print 1 here and by the end of this statement m has become 1 so it will also print 1 here. Whereas in this case, it will first print 0 and then 1, then it will print 1 and then 2, then it will print 2 and 3. Whereas in this case, it will always print 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. So let us quickly run this and you will see that what I said was right. So it becomes 0, 1, 1, 2. 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6. Whereas in, th in the next case, it will always be 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, up to 10, 10. Why is it printing it twice? Sorry? Because I am printing twice, right? And the value of n plus plus is, I said is n, right? So when n is 0, 0 plus plus is nothing but 0. But, at, but, but, uh, but after the end of this statement, the end will become 1. Hence, it will print 1 here in the next line. Whereas, in this particular case, 0 pl plus plus 0 is 1 because the value of plus plus m is m plus 1 and m has get gotten incremented after the end of line 43. So, the next statement will also print 1. Right. So, like, what's the code that makes it printing double? Because it's like because I'm having two system outs, right? Uh, okay. The first system out will print the value as m plus one, okay, okay, okay. and the next system out will print the new value of m. Okay, okay. By the end of this statement, either by the end of line thirty-two or or by the end of line forty-three. By that I mean after line thirty-two is finished execution the value of n is n plus 1 the, va the after the end of execution of line 43 the value of m is m plus 1 in both cases it has gotten incremented but in this case it will take the initial value and use that in this case it will take the new value and use that new value is m plus 1 so i'll email this program to you you can quickly run it on your 
I think you have an older version of the program. So let me send the new version and I am going to stop this recording here.